Nigerians in China have a message for all the Nigerians officials whose only solution to the NSAS protest seems to be the intimidation and killing of young innocent protesters. The ongoing protest in Nigeria is not just a call for a dissolution of the Nigerian police force, it is a call for a complete restructuring of the Nigerian police force and a demand for good governance from the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is really traumatic. We in the diaspora can't even get decent jobs and other opportunities because of the poor leadership and the bad image you have given our country. We are washing you. The world is washing. The corruption and inefficiency of the Nigerian government is not only affecting the Nigerians in Nigeria. The government is not a place to make wealth. If you want to become a millionaire, then become an entrepreneur. So it is time we effect change in the system. It is reasonable to say that the government shouldn't be a place where we accumulate wealth. So if we want to be wealthy, we should become an entrepreneur. The corruption and the inefficiency of the Nigerian government is not just affecting people in Nigeria. Our president and vice president should not earn more than 3 million naira per month. And same applies to all of our governors. I am Crucifix Show. I am one of the voices you hear in the streets in Nigeria. And our demands are clear. We demand that all Nigerian government officials should stop going abroad for medical checkups so that they can help and improve the health sectors in Nigeria. But as for us, the youth, the voices, our choice is clear. It's either good governance or nothing. The children of the government officials elected and appointed should study in Nigeria so that they can develop our education system. The choice is yours to make. The same way Ekoramadu was beaten up in Germany is the same way every other politician who goes to a foreign country for medicals will be beaten up if you don't put our country in order. And I tell you, your children who are schooling abroad will also be bundled back to you in Nigeria because we need you to get our country fixed. All we are saying, do not disburse funds to us because we had these funds and still borrow money from China, keeping us in perpetual debt. Reduce your salaries. Use it to develop power and transport sectors. We are tired of the electric power supply in Nigeria. End SAS. End police brutality. The hashtag end SAS, end police brutality are only but catalysts and primers to the new Nigeria that we want to see birthed. We, the concerned Nigerians in China, stand in gross opposition to politics in Nigeria as a means to becoming millionaires and billionaires overnight. Corruption is when the salaries and emoluments of 469 people is 1,000 times more than the annual combined allocations to the health and education of over 206 million helpless and hapless Nigerians. This is a crime against humanity and this must stop. End SARS, end police brutality, take back Nigeria. We want our Nigerian schools to be good enough for other foreigners to come in and study. Why must we be the ones struggling to leave Nigeria? Must we always study in other people's country? We also want foreign students to come and study in Nigeria. Why must we always go to other people's country to study? We're tired of being looked down upon when we arrive at the airport. We're tired of being looked down upon when we're at the embassies. We're tired of being looked down upon when we're at the immigration offices. We just cannot continue like this. No. We are tired. Completely tired. And we can't wait for another three years before something is done. Before the right things are done. 
some schools abroad don't take Nigerians anymore for some reasons. We want our dignity restored. We say end SARS. End police brutality. End bad governance. Stop killing us. The Nigerian youth are tired of being scared. We are not scared anymore. We can't breathe, but we are not going to run. We are here and we are not going anywhere. So you better change now. Change the system completely or we will change you for better. We all deserve a better Nigeria. End SAS now. End SAS. I say what? End SAS. Most of us. Okay. End SAS. End police brutality. Enough is enough. We are asking for our rights. We want a peaceful country. We want a country that will go to. We want a country that has everything like other other country. We are asking for our right. Do not kill us because we are asking for our right. We, the student from China, are saying end SAS and end police brutality. Enough is enough. Yeah. End SAS now. End police brutality. Right now. Yes, let me come out and say it. A quorum magistrate awaits any officials that comes to China for tourism or medical checkup. And if we catch any of your children here, we will flog them, flog them till they go back to Nigeria.